If there's one message we hope you have received from the first two sections of this video, it's that ARC's walls are changing the way construction professionals are designing and putting up buildings across the country. In getting started, there's one aspect of every project where you have to pay careful attention. Footing and slab placement. Get the footings right and the job will go up faster than weekend gas prices. Get them wrong and you're setting yourself up for lots of extra work later on. And I have a new guy that uh, has done a lot of concrete work and I told him, you know, Dave, you've got to make this just real level. It's got to be perfect. And he didn't believe me, you know, uh, and we are a half an inch out on, on one side. There's a hump in the floor. And we were trying to put this together and I said, my God, what's going on? You know, this is, it's, it's gapping and, you know, <laughs> it's very, very important. <laughs> to be within a quarter of an inch. Uh, Footings or slabs are not just a working platform. They are the fundamental mechanism that distributes your building loads to the ground. Be sure that your footings comply with local codes. If you are in any doubt, consult a design professional. There are four key elements to getting started properly. For accurate wall layout later, the footings have to be square. They have to be level. Tolerances here are tight, plus or minus one quarter inch. Design elevation changes with a step footing increment of 16 and three quarter inches, the same vertical dimension as the arcs form units. That way you can set successive courses without having to rip cut the forms horizontally. If required, install properly spaced vertical dowels as per code or specifications. Next, you have to establish an accurate squared wall layout on the footings or slab. There are a number of ways of making sure the layout is square. The diagonal method is one of the easiest ways of checking for squareness. Measure both the wall lengths and the diagonals. If opposing walls are the same length and the diagonals are equal, the corners are square. The 345 method is another technique. Mark the footings or slab three feet or a multiple down one leg of the corner and four feet or a multiple down the other. If the diagonal is five feet or a multiple, the corner is square. A third method is to use a transit. Set the transit over a corner pin using a plumb bob. Project and mark the appropriate angle and dimension on the slab or footing. Now you can snap a chalk line between the corner pins and mark the location of door and window openings on the slab or footings. If you think the weather is likely to turn bad, you may want to seal the chalk lines to keep them from getting washed away. As one builder notes, if you take the time to get your footings right, the rest of the job will go slick as a whistle. It went, uh, it went good, but we had to learn to do a few things different. Uh, one was the excavation itself. We need to get the excavator to make the steps in 16 and 3 quarter inch levels, as well as the footing steps. So we didn't get that on the first one, and it caused us some extra grief, which we've corrected on the second one. Installation crews find that the light weight of ARCS forms makes them easy to handle. Les systèmes bureaux de performance ARC sont très simples à installer. Euh, puis le module ne pèse seulement que 5 livres, c'est que pratiquement tout le monde peut lever. C'est très léger, c'est très facile à manipuler. Unloading the forms is easy. If the bundles are too large for one person to carry, two or more people can simply use a bundle dolly or slide two two by fours through the bundle and carry it away. Experience has shown that it's easiest to build an arcs wall from the inside. As a result, most contractors stage their tools and materials within the wall perimeter to make for a more efficient building process. Before we wrap this section up, let's take a moment to review the key points. Pay special attention to footing placement to help your job go smoothly. Make sure footings are level within plus or minus a quarter inch. Make elevation changes in increments of 16 and 3 quarter inches. Double check wall layouts. Where possible, stage material within the wall perimeter. 
So, everything is ready. When we come back, we'll start putting up walls. Sí, eh, eh, con, este, con este tipo de material uh, es bien eh, fácil de instalarse, eh, eh, ra, es rápido la instalación, se hace en poco tiempo, el, eh, cualquier edificio comercial o, o, o eh, casas es bien rapidísimo de, y bastante economía en lo, en lo cuanto a labor. 